Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I'm gonna show you how to share your Canva designs as templates. So, um, in front of you, you should see my Canva template shop. So, this is my Canva template shop on my website, the Site Blogger. You can see it by going to thesiteblogger.com/shop. So, what happens is that I design. Um, things with Canva, for example, I design social media graphics, ebooks, workbooks, etc, etc. And then I sell those designs as templates on my website, like you see here. And I also sell the same templates on Etsy, Creative Market, etc. I even have an online course um, where I teach people how to sell Canva templates. So for example, if you go to my website, thesiteblogger.com, and then you click courses, and then you'll see um, site income with Canva. And this is where you can sign up for my course where I teach people how I make anywhere between one to three thousand dollars every single month selling Canva templates on the site. So basically I don't do it full time. I only spend like a few hours every week doing this and I make one to three thousand dollars every month by doing it. So if you're interested in knowing how I do it, sign up for the course. But anyway, today's video is about how to um, share a Canva design as a template with your buyers. So in order to do that, remember that first you'll have to create a design on Canva. So you'll go to Canva and then you will create a design and you can do social media or whatever you want, resumes and media kits and worksheets and ebooks and all that, you know, wonderful things. And just make sure that you're designing um, the templates that you're going to sell as editable templates, make sure that you design them from scratch. Basically, um, for example, if you want to make Instagram posts, do not just create a design and then choose something from their template library because these are templates that somebody else has made, so you're not allowed to sell them as editable templates. So you'll have to design your own um, templates using um, Canva from scratch. So for example, I have some Instagram graphics here, as you can see, and I have made them from scratch. So I am able to sell it as my own editable templates um, because I have the permission to do so because I'm the one who made it. I didn't use a template from the template library. So just make sure that when you're selling Canva templates, the designs are unique to you and you have done them yourself from scratch. Anyway, so. Once you have designed something, um, maybe you are now uh, ready to sell them as a template like I have done on my website, like so. So um, I'm not going to go into the details, but just know that when you sell Canva templates, when a buyer buys a template, they need to be able to access your Canva design as a template. You don't want to give them full access to your original design, but you want to make sure that you give them the link to a template so that when they click that link, it creates a copy of your original design on their end, on their Canva account. And then they can go and make changes to uh, the template they have purchased from you, customize them to match their branding, their business purpose, or whatever they're doing without changing your original design. Um, and to do that, basically, you need the template link, and I'm going to show you where to get that. And then you will need to create a deliverable. Basically, when someone buys uh, a Canva template from your website, for example, like I have here, if someone goes and buys it, they are delivered. Basically, I give them a PDF document with a link to the Canva design template. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Um, and to do that, you'll need two things. First, you'll need to make uh, a deliverable. For example, I have here um, a document that I will be saving as a PDF. So uh, let me get rid of it, and I want to show you from scratch. So what I usually do is I click Create a Design, and then I usually choose the US letter document. Um, if you prefer a four document, that works too. It doesn't matter. Basically, it's going to be a document that you're going to save as a PDF. The size is not um, the issue here. I personally use the US letter document. You can choose an A4 document, a different size document, custom document, whatever, it doesn't matter. 
Um, anyway, so when I do this, I usually add some text to it. And to add text on Canva, usually you can do so from here on the left panel, it says text. And then you can choose a text box or a quick um, shortcut if you're on your desktop. Just press the T key on your keyboard and it adds um, a paragraph or a text box basically. So you can add a text box like so. Um, and then you can uh, customize it. For example, I might say something like, hello, um, dear buyer, thank you so much for purchasing a Canva template from me. To access the template, please click the link below. Make sure that you are already signed into your Canva account. And then I might say something like, click here to access your Canva template. And then I will write something like, thank you again. Sincerely, Maliha at the site blogger. So something like that. It doesn't have to be exactly these words. I'm just um, using them as a placeholder. You have to, um, you know, you have to write your own uh, text. You know, feel free to customize to match your branding, match your voice, etc., etc. But something similar like this, so that people know what they're doing, what they have received, and they so that they know that they have to click something to access the Canva template they just purchased. So let's say that um, I want to make this portion here that says click here to access your Canva template. I want to make it a hyperlink um, that links to the Canva template. And now I have to, before I do that, I have to first get the Canva template link. So I'm gonna go back to my Canva design and then I will click share. And please do not get a link from the collaboration link because, um, for example, this link actually gives people access to the original design. So do not click the copy link from here. That's not the link you want to share when you're selling a Canva template because this will give your buyers access to your original design in a couple of ways. So if you click this option here, you see that people can view, people can comment, people can edit. You don't want to give them access to an editable design because they will be go and they will be able to go in and make edits to your original design which is not cool uh, that's not what you want it's going to make your life really hard you don't want to give them can view either because you know people are purchasing a canva template they should be able to make edits make customization so just do not just stay away from this link here this is not the link that you share when you're selling Canva templates. What you want is a template link and that's in a different place altogether. So you can, you might see the template link right here if you follow my mouse here. Uh, this is the template link. Um, but if you don't see it here, don't panic because typically um, you might see that these links change. Sometimes uh, Canva shows you links that you use often. Um, so if you don't see the, can the template link right here, this button, for example, don't panic, just go to the more icon here. So for example, um, at the very bottom of this drop down, you see more. So if you click that, it will show you more options. And there under the share option right here, you should be able to see the template link right here. So just click that. And this is a template link. Basically copy the template link and then go back to the PDF that we are creating that's going to be the deliverable for your buyers um, and then highlight the portion of the text that you want to hyperlink and as soon as you highlight something you should see a link button pop up it's a floating icon um, it's a link icon it will show up so for example let me show you again so the link thing doesn't really show up unless you um, highlight a portion of your text so just click an element, highlight the portion of the text that you want to hyperlink, and then this um, floating icon will show up. So click that, 
and then paste the link that you just copied from your original design and hit the enter button on your keyboard and that's it. Now your text is hyperlinked and it's linking to your Canva template. Not the original design but a template. So that's it. That's all you have to do. And once you're ready, um, save this document, save this design as a PDF document. It's very important that you save it as a PDF, not as JPEG, not as PNG or something else, as a PDF because PDFs are the only type of document where you can hyperlink a text, where people can click a link basically. Um, so go to share. Uh, actually, I'm going to rename it to uh, something that a recognizable name, Canva template deliverable, for example. And then I'm going to click the share icon and then uh, share button, sorry, and then click download. And then from this drop down, the file type drop down, make sure to choose PDF. There are two different options, PDF standard, PDF print. The print is a higher quality, slightly larger file. Um, it doesn't matter either way, standard, print, either one works. I typically choose the PDF standard. And then I will click the download button right here. And that basically downloads the PDF. And then you can give your buyer access to this PDF, basically, whether you are um, whether you have a shop on Etsy, on your website, um, or on Creative Market. It depends on how your shop is set up. Uh, basically, you can add a PDF as a deliverable. And you have, if you don't know how to do that, feel free to sign up for my um, course, um, Site Income with Canva Templates, and I show you exactly how to do all of that. Um, but I'm going to assume for this one that you already know how to you know, set up your shop and set up deliverables. Anyway, when people buy your Canva Templates, they will get this PDF, and they will be able to click this link and when they click this link, see what happens. Um, they see this, uh, a template created by Maliha was shared with you, start designing now, and then they will be able to click this button right here that says the purple button that says use template. And when they click it, it's gonna open a copy of the original design as a template on their Canva account, which is what you want. So yeah, so this is how you share a Canva design as a template with your buyers if you're a Canva template seller, for example. Um, so anyway, that's how you do things. And once again, if you want to, you know, um, if you want to learn more about how to sell Canva templates, you can always go to my website, thesiteblogger.com, go to courses, site income with Canva templates, and then you can sign up. Um, and you'll have access right away and you'll learn everything I know about selling Canva templates and making a monthly site income with Canva templates. Hopefully this video was useful to you and if you have any questions or comments feel free to uh, leave them below and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well to stay up to date with more videos. That's it for today and I will see you later. Bye!